What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys my cash envelope organizer wallet that I take with me everywhere. And I'm gonna go in depth with how I made all of my envelopes, how I filled all of my envelopes, and everything in between. So I've talked about before, there's a whole scam story where we lost almost $30,000 when buying our house. I did not put up that video yet, but we still have not gotten that money back. So we are paying a $30,000 debt, and my goal is to pay it down within this month. Month. So I've done a bunch of research figuring out exactly what budgeting methods would work the best for us and the cash envelope system is what is going to be working for us. So if you wanted to learn more about that, I'm going to show you exactly like which envelopes I carry with me, how I even made the envelopes, did I buy them, like how much money did I put into this. And because this is my first month doing it, I'm just finishing out like a whole entire month of paying with cash and doing things. I feel like I've gotten more insight and I am loving it. I'm actually going to be doing these videos once a month. And so this one is just kind of an overview of my cash envelope So that way when I make my like paycheck videos like where I'm budgeting out and filling all my envelopes I'm gonna actually like show you guys how I fill the envelopes like with cash what I'm putting in each one You can always reference back this video to know like how I set up my envelopes where I got them from all those types of resources I do have a Facebook group that's called budgeting with Jacqueline if you guys want to see I do like live videos there I just hop on I show you guys like you know how much I've spent on on groceries maybe a new app where I saved money um, and so I am like pretty active in there compared to the videos that are gonna come out here on YouTube these ones are just gonna be like maybe once or twice a month at the beginning and the end of the month when I'm doing my paycheck so if you want to join that group I'll have the link down below as well as all the things I'm talking about in this video so let's go ahead and get started okay I'm gonna show you guys all of my envelopes today so that way in future videos you guys know like what I'm talking about how I set all of this stuff up because I am a new cash envelope <laughs> We're just gonna go along with it. Uh, so I did buy this wallet so that way I could transfer all of my cash stuff over and I didn't have to figure out how to incorporate cash in my current wallet which like was just from Walmart. It was literally like five bucks. So this wallet I did spend more money on. I did get this from Amazon and I will have it linked down below in my Amazon shop. This is a Filofax. I think I have it upside down. There we go. This is a Filofax wallet and I really like that it zippers and I keep Keep my cash envelopes that I use on my daily like on a daily basis so I'll go through these and show you guys but with this wallet there are a bunch of different pockets I'll show you guys and I'll show you how like I keep it and how I like it the best so there is this little loop here in order to put a pen and I am just using the Tombow drawing pen which I I'll have all of this stuff linked in my Amazon shop because I use this for like my bullet journaling because I'm a big bullet journaler and I use this to write on the back of my envelopes once I take cash out so over here there is a pocket here for even more cards I keep most of my cards on this side um, so I just I actually just got this this is from the cash app um, so you can get a card from the cash app and so I thought about using this as like my spending money if I didn't want to use cash. I didn't put anything on here yet though. So that's, that's a brand new thing. We're not using it yet. Um, but it's not a credit card. It's not a debit card. It's literally just as if you put money from your bank onto it to spend. So this is where I keep my coins. Once this gets um, pretty full, I put my coins in a jar because I'm going to be cashing those out once the jar is full and using that extra money for savings or whatever we wanna use it for. And so I round up everything. I don't put coins in my envelopes. I put them right in here and then they go into a jar. Then there's this like little pocket thing here. So there's like lots of little pockets that I don't even use. Then it came with um, this, this actually came with a little planner of some sort, which I took out because I just wanted to use the actual, you know, rings. And so you can pull this in and out, you know, however you want. And so I put my cash envelopes on these rings instead of having the planner on these rings because I'm not, I'm not using this for a planner. So we'll go over those in a second. Then over here I do, there's a spot. Um, I put my checkbook in here just in case I would need it, which is not very often. And then I have a bunch of spots for cards. So I have like my actual debit card, my driver's license, and my like 
you know, Kroger, Food Lion, Martins, and Sheets cards over here. And then on this side, I put all of my like insurance cards and library cards. I do not have any credit cards. So literally, if I'm not paying in cash, I would be using my debit card and that's it. Like that's what I would be paying with. Um, there is a little pocket on the back here, which I think it doesn't open too far and I think I just put, there we go. I have a dentist appointment coming up and so when they gave this to me, I just quick stuck it in there for later to put in my bullet journal. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about my actual cash envelopes. And I am so obsessed with watching people like stuff their cash envelopes. And so I'm gonna be obviously making videos with my budget every month and how I am creating my budget every month. But I'm also gonna start making a monthly video of me stuffing these cash envelopes. Now Alvin gets paid monthly. I do get paid every two weeks, but I just do our budget monthly since the majority of our income is coming monthly. So I will only be, you know, actually filling these monthly. So I'll only have one video for that, I think, unless I figure out a different system. But these are my main spending envelopes. Now I printed all of these envelopes, including all of my sinking funds envelopes from The Budget Mom. So thebudgetmom.com is a website that she talks all about everything I've learned pretty much. And so this is where I got all of her envelopes. She has a bunch of free resources, which I will link down below. So a lot of these were free. Some of these I did purchase, like this, what these watercolor ones I did purchase, but it's like $4 for the download. And then you could literally print it as many times as you want. Um, a lot of these ones though were actually free. When you sign up for her newsletter, she actually gives a lot of these free. And so these ones were free for Valentine's Day um, just because I was signed up for her email list. So every single week she does a freebie. And so literally all I did was spend the paper. I just printed these on regular paper. I used my ink from my printer and I'm going to be reusing these multiple times. So I'm not just like, okay, this is a month and then throw it away. I actually, once these are like filled out, completely. There's more of these that I can print out and then paste on the back. So I'm going to be using these envelopes until they die. So for this one, and all these envelopes are different. Some are horizontal, some are vertical. It's just kind of your personal preference. I was trying out different ones to see. Um, but for the vertical one, I actually like taped this back on here because I actually like having the tracker on the back. And so a lot of the vertical ones don't have the tracker on the back, but for all the vertical ones that I printed, I like, I, I glued this onto there. So that's how I'm going to do it. Like I'm just gonna cut out um, more of these. There's like an actual PDF that I got these from for the budget mom. And so even when my other ones are full, I can just, you know, paste a new one on top so I can use these envelopes for a really long time. Okay. So in here, I've got my pet envelope. This one, I had budgeted $40 and I did buy Graham a little, um, tent with that. I didn't need to get him food cause I had a really, really big bag of food, but I usually never buy anything for Graham. And so I did use the $40, but I will be rolling over over the $40 every month um, when I stuff this envelope if I haven't used it for food because I want to kind of like, you know, build this up in case he would have to go to the vet or we have to pay registration. So I did use that $40 this month as outlined right here. That is definitely not something that would be a regular occurrence. For groceries, um, I have, I had budgeted $700 and it's almost the end of the month and I have quite a lot left. So I'm very excited because I'm actually going to lower this down, but I'm going to change this um, to lower it. So I'll probably do like $500 maybe. That's a big jump. Normally you shouldn't do big jumps, but I think I can do it because I still have a lot of food in my freezer. Then this is my cosmetics and I wanted to show you guys, this is actually just like a label that I put on here. So I just got these multi-use labels, they were only a couple dollars. Um, and so this is just a label and that's what I put on like, you know, all of these. And then I just used my mild liners, which is what I use for bullet journaling to actually like write and match it to the envelope. So this is just my handwriting. This is just a label. And then I forgot to also say that I bought this like hole puncher. You don't have to get the like fancy, you know, six hole punches that fit in here. This was like $2. And literally all I did was put the envelope on here and kind of mark it with pencil 
pencil to figure it out. And then now that I have these punched, I can just put these on top of new envelopes to punch them exactly the way that these ones are punched, if that makes sense. So don't buy a $30 hole puncher if you don't need to. When I printed out these envelopes, I um, glued them together using this little dot glue thing that I got from Walmart. So it's literally just like glue dots on the end here and you just like run it down and super easy to stick together. So like these are super easy to make you guys. Okay, then I have a, oh, my cosmetics. I don't think I showed you my budget here, but I put $80 in cosmetics for like, um, you know, shampoo, conditioner, makeup, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and we actually didn't even use any of that this month, which is nice, which I'll probably roll it over. And then once I get a bigger amount, I will go put it into savings. This is household. And for household, I had budgeted a hundred dollars. I do have $0 left because I bought like a microwave popper for Valentine's day for Alvin. And I did a little coffee bar, um, for my kids and got a plant holder so Graham would stop getting into the plant. I should have taken that out of his allowance, but I didn't. Okay, so that was that. Then for miscellaneous, I did budget $100 into that and I did use it because I bought new eyeglasses for myself. Then we have gas, which I had budgeted $40 and I still have $25 in this envelope. And so yeah, I that was great. I did use my Kroger card and got like so much money off. I only had spent $15 in it it literally lasted me like the whole month. I also have a Prius though. Then for my dining out envelope, I put $100 in here because of Valentine's Day, which we did use about $45 for Valentine's Day, but we do have $50 left and I'm definitely gonna cut this down. Um, so you guys will see all of my, like cutting all of my budgets down and stuff in my actual paycheck setup and all of that at the first of the month. And so this is just me showing you guys what I did for the first month. I just wanted to show you how I have my cash envelope organized. So if you do go watch any of my other future budget videos, you can come back to here and see how I set all this up. Then this is the online shopping envelope. This is definitely a free envelope from the Budget Moms website. And this one's pretty full. And um, this is for when we buy something online, like say you are buying your groceries, like something from Amazon and it goes into your grocery, you know, budget or you buy like clothing and it needs to go in your clothing budget. Well, you take your money out of, you know, like your grocery budget here and you put it into this online shopping envelope and this money is supposed to go back into the bank because obviously you paid with your bank card or whatever online. Um, so this is all stuff that I had either bought like from Amazon or from an online website um, or it got taken out of our, you know, debit card. I didn't get to pay cash for it. So this is all cash. So $505 is going back into our checking account um, because we used $500 from our checking account that was budgeted from these envelopes, if that makes sense. Some of these things I just didn't realize um, were coming out out or they're like gifts. So that's why they came out, but I would like to cut this down so that way I don't have to put the money back in. But I'm actually probably gonna use this money um, instead of putting this back into my checking account and pulling out cash again at the beginning of the month, I'm just gonna subtract this from the cash I would have taken out, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna use this cash to budget for next month. These are the envelopes that I take with me all the time. These are things that obviously you would buy at like, you know, Walmart, Kroger, Target, that type of stuff. So I take all of this stuff with me. Now, all of my actual sinking funds envelopes, these I keep in a fireproof locked safe here at home. So for those of you that are worried that, oh my gosh, you keep so much money like at home, aren't you worried about getting robbed or what happens if there's a house fire? All of these are things that I'm saving for for the future. These are sinking funds and I do keep these in a fireproof locked safe. So hopefully we wouldn't lose all of this money, um, but this is what's working out for me. I really like it. I like the visuals of this. This is what works for me. You guys don't have to do cash envelopes. Like you can look up a different way. I'm just showing what I have been loving. Like I'm literally obsessed with this and it, it makes me so excited to budget every single month. Like I cannot wait to set up my March budgeting and like fill all these envelopes up. I'm literally so excited. So this is a clothing sinking fund. So every single month I'm putting 50 
$50 in here. Obviously you see I did not use any of this because we don't need clothing at the moment. But when we put $50 in here, obviously the like amount will go up and then we'll have a good amount of money for if we do need to buy, you know, like summer clothes or winter clothes or something like that. It's already budgeted in this envelope so you don't have to be, you know, paying extra. I do what's called a zero based budget. So all of my money is going somewhere. Like I either have it, you know, going to these envelopes to save for future purchases. I have it going to the envelopes in here that I know I'm budgeting for groceries and stuff, or I'm using the rest of the money to pay off debt or go into savings. So there shouldn't be money left over that doesn't have a purpose. Zero based budgeting is all for purposes. So this is my Christmas for others envelope. And in here I'm budgeting $50 so that way when Christmas rolls around I have a good amount of money to spend to buy friends Christmas presents, family members Christmas presents, whatever it would be. And obviously you guys are going to have different amounts because it's based off of what's important to you, how much you want to save, what your financial goals are. So don't look at mine and be like, oh, I have to save $50 every month, you know? So this is my home decor. Um, I am budgeting $100 for this. And the reason I'm doing that is because I would like to buy some bigger purchases in the future. So I do have like an idea of what I'm gonna use this for. I would like to buy a day bed with a trundle um, and I'll need to get mattresses for those obviously um, for this office that I'm in right now because I would like to use it kind of as a way like for me to sit and read but also as a way for when we have extra guests that's two extra beds for people to you know lay on, sleep on, whatever. Um, so this is why I am budgeting so much money because I know that I'm gonna have to make a probably like 300 to 400 purchase in order to get that. And then I also want to be saving for other future purchases for our home. So whether that is like landscaping, like gardening, I want to do a garden this spring, you know, all of that is the reason I'm saving this. Okay. Then I have my Costco money and I just got a membership to Costco because I've heard so many people save so much money there, but you do spend a lot of money when you initially go. So I'm saving $75 a month and I think I'm gonna go about every two months. So I did save $75 in February and then once I fill this for March, I'll have $150 to take this and go to Costco and that's gonna be my budget for Costco when I go. So I'm thinking about every two to three months probably. I've never been to Costco, so this is gonna be my first time. But I'm planning on doing um, a Costco run in March, so I'm really excited and I'll probably do a haul for that. Um, hopefully $150 is enough for that. Then I have this gifts for others. So this is like birthdays, baby showers, stuff like that. It's different than Christmas and we did actually use this. So I budgeted $25 and one of my friends had a birthday um, this month in February. So I used that $25 to buy her gifts. There's only, yeah, $2 left I think in here. Um, so yeah, there's $2 of cash. So I'll just roll that over for the next month. So when I put $25 in here again, there will be $27 to use for March if needed. Then this is Alvin's Christmas envelope. So um, I am saving $25 per month for Christmas time. So that should be a good amount of money once Christmas rolls around in order to get Alvin's Christmas presents. I know that he wants a new Xbox and this is the best way to, you know, save for those big Christmas purchases or birthday purchases. So this is going to be for Christmas time and there should be a couple hundred dollars to use for that. This is my Christmas envelope and that's exactly the same thing I'm doing for that. So $25 for both of us. And then once, you know, December rolls around, I can give, you know, my envelope to Alvin to do purchases with and I can take Alvin's envelope or whatever. This is our vacation envelope. And so I am budgeting $100 in here. We go to the beach every year, we go to the Outer Banks. And the reason I decided to do $100 is because I know that normally when we go for a week, it's about $800 to $1,000 for us to actually get the lodging. Um, and then we do a couple hundred dollars of eating out and spending, you know, doing entertainment stuff. So I figured
figured with $100 a month, that's about $1,200 that would already be budgeted out that we could use to pay for the whole entire trip. So that way, you know, when you're getting ready to book your vacation, it's not coming out of your checking and you're like, oh man, you know, I have to have $600 or $800 to like book my vacation. It will already be saved in here for the whole entire year. Then I have my birthday envelope. And so this is just for Alvin to use to buy me a birthday gift. I have $10 that we're just, you know, putting in every single month. So yearly, we should have $120 to spend on a birthday. You don't have to spend, you know, that much money that you have budgeted. You could always spend less if needed um, and save the future money for something else. And then the same for Alvin. So I just did $10 for him as well. Then I have the date night slash anniversary fund. And so this is to obviously use for when our anniversary comes up in August, but we could also pull out of this envelope if we want to go to like a winery together, see a movie together, which we don't do in Corona anymore, but we used to see movies a lot, you know? So this is something that I'm budgeting $30 to every month. And so I figured $30 is pretty good for us because if we go to a winery, we usually spend around $30 a movie, you know, to get maybe a popcorn soda and your two movie tickets is around $30. So I figured, you know, maybe once a month do a date night. If we do skip a month, that's just extra money that can go towards our anniversary because with Corona, we're actually not really doing that many date nights. So that's why I didn't put a huge amount of number, but I really like this idea. So that way we already have money budgeted and we can be like, you know, hey, let's go see a movie or get, you know, go to a winery. Then the last sinking fund I have is haircuts. And this is for when I want to get my hair done and for Alvin to get his hair cut. So I budgeted $50 because Alvin's hair grows so fast and he has to get a haircut a lot more than I do. But I budgeted 50 because I do want to save up for me to go get my hair done. Um, I only get my hair cut maybe like, I don't know, twice a year. And I haven't gotten it like dyed or highlighted in a while. I was kind of letting my natural grow out, but I do think I need to get one highlight to just kind of like fix the growth of previous dye jobs, you know, make it blend a little better. So I'm saving up for that. So once I have some saved, then I'll go get my haircut. But until then, no haircut for Jackie. Okay, so those were all of my actual envelopes. There are other things that I'm saving for that I'm keeping the money in the checking account just because it's things that we actually use like we buy from the checking account. So I actually have this whole entire spreadsheet, which I'll be showing you guys um, in my future, like my March paycheck budgeting, because I'm going to be doing a whole new spread for March. Um, but this is how I figured out how to set up my actual cash envelopes. So these were my fixed bills that are actually coming out of my checking account. So those are things that I did not, you know, do envelopes for because we obviously pay, you know, from them, from our checking account. Once I figured out what we had left is how I figured out, you know, the amounts I wanted to put in the envelopes. And then I subtracted that to see how much we had left. These were all of the sinking funds that we just went through. If I have it marked in pink, that means it's staying in a savings account or checking account. So I am saving $150 over in our checking account or savings account for home maintenance. So that's if something happens, like maybe our heat goes out or our pipes bust or we need a new roof. We're just constantly saving money in order you know, to do something like that in the future. Obviously we don't have any problems right now, but you never know. It's kind of like an emergency fund. I'm saving $50 for health because I recently found out that I have SIBO and I'm going to be taking antibiotics for that. Um, I've also been like paying for blood tests and stuff, um, but that's just a number that I came up with. It might have to be more than that. I'm saving $50 for future taxes. Um, so like property tax, I have $35. Um, we always like pay into taxes. So I want to have money saved for that at the end of the year. And then we're also paying $50 for car maintenance, which I actually did use this month because I had to get an oil change. Um, so that's just all stuff that's in the uh, checking account as well as shipping because I ship everything from like PayPal. I print off the receipt and um, you know, that comes out of our checking account. So I have that budgeted in our checking account. Then I kept our $20,000 in our emergency fund that's going to stay. We don't touch that. Um, once we pay off all of our debt from the scam, which I still need to do the scam story. If you guys don't know, um, we got scammed out of our whole down payment of our house and I'll go through that in a different video. Um, but that's why we ended up with so much debt.
debt. So that's why I'm doing this is to pay off this debt within a year. Um, but I don't want to touch our emergency fund. We want to keep that while we're paying off all this extra debt. So I should have almost $3,000 to throw at the debt. I did end up paying off this one $500 credit card. Um, and then this was how I figured out like what cash I wanted to put in the env envelopes. But I'll go over this every single month when I set up my new budget. Um, but that's how I figured out like how, you know, what to put in each envelope, what I was going to take with me, what I'm saving here at home, and what I'm leaving in my checking account for future sinking fund savings. And once we get our debt, you know, paid off, we'll have extra money that we can put towards future big sinking funds. Like we want to build a garage. We want to have a better backyard, like build up a little grill area, but those things aren't important when you have debt. So we're put, you know, all of our money we're putting towards paying off debt and doing a couple extra, you know, fun things like Christmas vacation on the side. So I hope that this was really helpful with you guys seeing you know, all my cash envelope system, drop any comments down below if you have any, you know, questions and stuff, because I obviously didn't know exactly what to answer. Um, this is my first time kind of like starting this and doing it, but I feel like I've definitely, I've done this whole month with it. So I feel like I do know more and I'm really, really excited to actually show you guys. I'm going to be stuffing these, um, at the beginning of March, I'm going to be getting all my cash and showing you exactly how I stuff them and how I figure out this whole spread. Um, so I'll be doing a brand new spread for March in my bullet journal. Really excited to show you guys. So I hope you loved this video. I hope it was helpful. And like I said, any of the links to any of these things are going to be down below, but I will see you guys very soon in my March paycheck budgeting and cash envelope filling video. So bye-bye. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher 